Ugh, god damn it. <sighs> well, it's a new year. I just want to try something different. This right here is the gimbal I bought about a year and a half ago. This is the Zhiyun Crane version 2. So a gimbal is a little device that you strap your camera to. It has three motors, one on each axis, and it stabilizes your camera so you can get some really smooth handheld footage. Even though I've had this for around two years now, I've barely used it. Considering it's an older gimbal, it does a pretty well job stabilizing the camera, but there's one flaw with this gimbal that I can't get over that really makes me not want to use it. The biggest issue I've had with this gimbal versus a more modern gimbal is the fact that the motor on the back is directly in front of the screen of the camera. This means when I'm trying to shoot video, I can't see a thing that I'm doing and it makes it really difficult to work with. So there's a couple options that I could get around this whole gimbal thing. I could always buy a new one, of course, but who wants to do that? I've barely got any use out of this. So I might as well try and make it work. My next option is having a camera that has a flip out screen. That way it's out of the way of the gimbal anyways, but new cameras are expensive and flip out screens are still tiny. So I don't want to go with that route anyways. Now I could always use an external monitor like this one and just strap it to the top of the camera. This would work, but this gimbal is older, so it can't hold as much weight as a newer gimbal and the weight of the monitor and the battery alone make this way off balance and it wouldn't be usable. So why not just buy an external arm? I could strap the monitor to the side and then everything would work. So I could do that, but why spend more money on an arm than I have to? So that's why I plan on doing this video. I'm gonna design my own monitor arm for my gimbal so I can continue using it and maybe I'll use it more and get better footage. So I got the first prototype off the printer and then I screwed it on to the gimbal. It cracked because the nuts were a little bit too big for the enclosure. They cracked the frame. So all I have to do is go back and make them a little bit larger in the CAD software. That kind of stuff does happen with a 3D printer. You measure something and print it out and it's slightly the wrong size. So that's fine. Nothing I didn't expect from a first prototype. But I think I'm going to go back and make some of the areas on this part a little bit thicker just so it can hold up to more abuse since they're already cracked. So there we go. Now that I have the whole clamping mechanism down, I think that's solid enough. I can go work on building out the arm. That way I can attach the monitor to the side and then make it actually useful. All right, so the third prototype of the monitor arm just finished printing. I installed it and I already noticed a couple issues. So the first thing, when I'm screwing in the arm, the screws get in the way of the arm makes it really difficult to assemble and if I didn't have my whole screwdriver kit here I probably wouldn't be able to do it. So in the CAD I'll end up flipping the screws and the nut just to make it easier to assemble. The other thing is the arm is pretty long. It's out of the way of the gimbal which is good but it seems like having all that leverage does make it pretty easy to wobble around a bit more than I wanted to. And then finally the hot shoe mount that I wanted to use since it was so convenient to just take my monitor off and slap it on. It, it's already cracked on the sides. The hot shoe walls that I made were really thin, so that caused it to crack. So maybe I'll either have to make it thicker or I have to do something completely different anyways and I can't just use a hot shoe. So I guess I'll move on to the fourth prototype and I'll see if I can make it any better. So I'd say this project was a pretty good success. I ended up breaking up the arm into three different pieces. I have two for clamping and then one that brings the arm out into the side. This was to try and make the arm as strong as possible because printing it in two pieces instead of three it means it would crack and break with like the monitor attached and all that kind of stuff. And I thought it'd be a lot easier of a project. I thought it'd be a one day design, print, and call it done. But it's been around three days since I started this project. But end result, I think it turned out pretty well. So here you go. This is what it looks like from the gimbal. Everything looks much more stable. So I think this project turned out pretty well. It was a nice first project for 2021. Hopefully I'll be able to use my gimbal more this year. So if you have a giant crane V2 and you want to download and print your own, I'll leave a link for the model in the description. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next one.